Hey, in this video, I want to talk about the new ability to reset an external user's redemption status. So I have my entry tenant. And now I can think about there's some user whose account lives under a different identity provider. Now it could be a different entry tenant, it could be Facebook or Gmail or some other SAML, and there are many, many others. But the point is their object lives under a different identity provider. This is where they authenticate. But I want to be able to interact with them, give them rights to resources that live in my tenant. So what I do is I send them an invitation to collaborate and it, they're gonna be an external identity. So they get that invite and they redeem it. Now when they redeem it, what happens is they get an external identity created in my tenant that has a UPN, for example, that user principal name, which will be based off of their email that I sent that invitation to, um, hash ext hash at my tenant's identity. If we jumped over really quickly, we can see this. If I was to go and look at all of my guests, you can see their UPN is always, well, their original email, the at is turned to an underscore, so this was a Yahoo, we can see it's hash ext hash, and then my entry tenant. And we'll see that that's in common for all of them. Whatever their original was, it just gets converted to this hash. So that's what their UPN is. So they are external identities. And that's fantastic. And then once we have this, this is just an identity that we can give them access to things. For example, I can go and add them to groups. I can give them roles. I can assign them applications. But what happens if this user has some change? Imagine they change their email. Imagine they move completely to a different identity provider. Imagine they accidentally get deleted and recreated in some way. There are a whole set of different things that could happen. But maybe I still want to be able to work with them. They go to a different company, their email changes, but there's still this entity. But now I need to link it to a different federated account in maybe the same identity provider or a different identity provider. Now what we would do in the past is we'd just delete this external identity and send a new invite to their new email address, wherever that may be. But all of these assignments we have done, these ads to groups, these roles, these app assignments would all get lost. So what we can do now is we can reset that redemption and let them redeem it again. And the key part we can do is I can change, for example, their mail attribute, or there are other mail as well attributes that I could modify. So I can go ahead and change this and then reset their redemption. They would then redeem it again, but now under the new external identity that they're authenticating against. Now a key point is the UPN will not change. So the UPN would still be based on that first email but the identity they actually sign in as, whatever that now becomes, is what they would be able to use. Their object ID doesn't change, and it means they wouldn't lose any groups they're members of, any roles, any applications, because what we're doing is we're resetting this external identity. We send out that new invite because we've changed the attribute of their email address or we've used that other mail option, and then when they redeem it, whatever this new identity is will get linked to this existing external identity. And it's super simple. So if we go and look, I've already played around with this on one of my accounts. So this account here, if we go and look, we can see now in the B2B collaboration, I've accepted it. 
but we can do reset redemption status. Now you don't have to do it through the portal. You can also do it through PowerShell. You can do it through the Microsoft Graph. Now if you do it through either of these methods, one of the key thing is you will update this invited user email address. So that's where you do it in the PowerShell. You can see it in the graph as well. And what we would have already done ideally is reset that mail property. That's the recommended option to change. But they also talk about, hey, there is this other mails property, so you could have multiple ones assigned to them. The permissions you need to do this is one of these. So help desk administrator, user administrator, or global administrator. And then once I hit this reset, you will just hit the reset button and it will clear out the link to the external identity. Now I did this already. So if we go back and look at the history, I already reset it. So if we look at the core directory action, so if we look at the modified properties, what you can see it did was, hey, that alternative security, it used to be linked to, hey, the Google, it blanked it out. And it changed it from user state accepted to pending acceptance. And then what I did is as that account, I went in and accepted it again. And then when I actually accepted it again, you can see it set them back. So hey, it went from that alternative security ID, it put it back to the Gmail. And then it set all of those properties back to it. So the UPN wouldn't change. Um, the object ID wouldn't change. But absolutely what I could do as part of this is I could go in and I could have changed, for example, the email first and put in the new email before I did that reset of the redemption or add it in as other emails. So then they could use that as the external security principle they actually authenticate with but then it will be tied back to this existing external identity. And really that's, that's what this is all about, is the ability that now I don't have to delete and then just create it all from scratch and reset up all of these permissions I may have done. I can just reset that redemption status and they can now go and link it to a different external identity. So I mean, it's kind of useful to be able to do that. Obviously life circumstances change, I may want to be able to go and link it to, hey, my email address changed, I went to a different company, but I'm still that human, and I still maybe want those same interactions um, with this owner of the tenant. Hope that's useful. Till next video, take care.